and my brother were going to the park. Seven-year-old Lee Jensen back home, back to being a kid after being hit by a car just days prior. I know why, because of our faith and because of every single prayer that ever came in was holding him up. You know, his guardian angel's real battered and bruised right now, but look at him. On July 16th, Lee and his older brother Lucas and a friend walked a couple blocks from home to the Schoolcraft Elementary Playground. To get there and back, they have to cross Williams Lake Road. It was my brother's friend that went first, and then, and then my brother, and then me. So the car just went broom and just hit me by the side. That crash prompted a seven word text from his older brother Lucas to their dad. Lee got hit by a car go. Yeah. Lee got hit by a car go. When they arrived, Lee was sitting in a chair. He's like, I need a band aid. I need a band aid. And I was like, buddy, you, I don't think a band aid is going to fix you. A fractured skull above his eye, bruised ribs, and a bad case of road rash. There's all these trauma teams, and they're just dissecting him and looking at him. But he was alive, and the parents actually credit the driver for that. And I am thankful that the driver was paying attention. I am so thankful because if he wasn't, I don't even want to go down that road. The speed limit on Williams Lake Road is 45 miles an hour. But I spoke with neighbors who live right on the corner who say traffic routinely goes much faster than that, especially as they come around this bend, making it very difficult to stop if there's a child in the middle of the road. When you cross, you're crossing right there after the bend. And according to her, the driver swerved just enough to save Lee's life. On Tuesday night, the Jensen spoke by phone to that driver to let him know Lee is expected to make a full recovery. Imagine this person who hit a child. They have that ingrained in their mind yeah. forever on top of the fact that they don't even know what's happening with this child. In Waterford Township, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News.